In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the variance and the standard deviation for a continuous measure. The variable that I've selected is the variable called Childs from the General Social Survey, and I've taken a sample of 25 individuals from the 2012 survey. These respondents were asked how many children they had. You can see the sample on the left, and you can see that as I've sorted the data, it ranges from 0 to 7 children. The actual responses range from 0 to 8, where 8 means more, uh, 8 or more children. Let's review the formula for the variance. Our variance is equal to s squared, which is equal to the sum of the quantity of y sub i minus y bar squared divided by n minus 1. If we take the square root of s squared, or the square root of the quantity on the right, we get the standard deviation. And that's actually the value that we're most interested in. But the first step in calculating the standard deviation is to calculate the variance. You can see that one number I need to calculate the variance is the mean of y. The mean of these 25 numbers, y bar, is 1.96, a number that I calculated earlier. So let's go ahead and look at a, for, at a couple of these uh, operations. I take case number 1, I need 0 minus 1.96, the quantity squared, plus 0 minus 1.96 squared, plus 1.96. You get the idea that this is repetitive And that handles the first five cases. Then I move on to the sixth case, which is going to be 1 minus 1.96 squared. And the seventh case, 1 minus 1.96 squared. And so forth, till I get to the end, where I'm going to have 7 minus 1.96, the quantity squared. So that means for these 25 numbers, from each number I subtract the mean and take that quantity and square it, and then I need to sum those numbers up. That's a fair amount of work just to get to the numerator, and hopefully you've already figured out that this could be solved much more quickly using a spreadsheet, something that we'll show you in another video. I'm going to go ahead and solve this problem a little bit easier and use a trick that we showed in another video because we know that when we do this addition, it's really, uh, we can use multiplication to solve some of these addition problems. Let's go ahead and solve this a little more efficiently. I know I have the quantity 0 minus 1.96 squared. And there are five cases that need that particular number, so I'm going to take 5 times that. And then I'll move on to the ones. There are six values of one. And there are eight values of two. And if I do that operation, I end up getting the value of approximately 
So this value, 79.96, is the sum of the squared deviations of each value of y around the mean of y. So my numerator for my variance is going to equal 79.96. And I need to divide that by 25 minus 1, or number of cases minus 1. And then when I do my division, I get a variance of 3.21, approximately. Now, if I take the square root of this value, I get my standard deviation, which is approximately 1.79. So you can see that while this problem is not particularly complicated, there's a lot of computational work and a lot of repetition. But once you figure out the pattern, it's pretty easy to do. Again, I'm going to suggest that you use a spreadsheet for these kinds of problems to teach yourself how the statistic works, but also for the ease in computation and making certain you get the numbers right. As usual, if you have any questions, please let us know and we'll try to answer all of your questions.